To begin solving this question, we're going to use Snell's law, which is this formula right here. The next thing we need to do is we need to look up a table that gives the different index of refractions for different substances. We'll go ahead and plug in the values right here. So for error, the index of refraction is 1.000293, and the index of refraction for fused quartz is 1.458. Next, we'll simply plug in the angles, and we were given that the first angle for theta 1 is 45 degrees. Now we'll go ahead and rearrange so that we take the arc sine of 0.485. That'll give us theta 2 is equal to 29 degrees. Now we'll go ahead and repeat the same process for part B. This time, we'll need to get the index of refraction for carbon disulfide, which again, you look up in a table right here. You'll go ahead and plug in those values, use algebra to solve, and you'll get that the theta sub 2 is equal to 25.7 degrees. You'll go ahead and repeat the same procedure for part C. The index of refraction for water is 1.333, and you'll find that the angle is 32 degrees.